Chow here from johnchow.com. Welcome to Driving with John Chow. It's uh, not sunny today, as you can see. It's foggy. Then again, it is 9 a.m. in the morning, so uh, that's that's why. Usually the sun will break through in an hour, and then I'll be able to take the top down. Right now, I'm headed for a meetup. It's a meetup about advertising, online advertising. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about. Online advertising. How can you get the maximum amount of money for your advertising dollars? Most bloggers, and I started this way too, most bloggers make their money with advertising. Or specifically, the Google ads. I see it all the time. I ask my blogger, you know, how do you make your money? He goes, oh, I gotta, I'm running Google ads. I'm, everyone's running Google ads. And that's how most bloggers start. And that's a good way to start, but running Google ad is also not the most profitable way to run a blog. You need, and I talked about, and I talked about this before. You need a proper revenue mix to maximize your income. If um, if my blog was just powered by Google advertising right now and have nothing else, like none of the other revenue channels that I've set up, it would make around a thousand bucks a month. So that's about a thousand bucks a month. Which I suppose is not bad, but it's nowhere close to the hundred thousand plus the blog actually makes. Right, so keep that in mind. If you're running Google ads, uh, you'll make some money, but uh, you, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. But let's say you're getting started and you just run the Google ads, and you want I don't have the resources it takes to set up my own accounting, or my, my own advertising office, or hire a person to sell advertising for me, have account managers, that kind of stuff. How how do I go about selling advertising without taking time away from producing blog posts? One of the advantages and one of the reasons why a lot of bloggers use Google is because Google allows them to continue to blog and leave their ad selling to Google. And that's the relationship, you know, like I can concentrate on my blogging and I let Google take care of the advertising for me and I'll produce quality content. Google sells, I produce, Google sells. That's and if I were to say, if I produce and sell, then my content quality and production would go down and therefore my quality wouldn't be as good, my traffic would go down and then, yeah, right? So that's, that's the thing. So how do you get around that? How can you sell your own advertising and still have the time to produce content? And this is how I do it. And it's ideal because the, the meetup I'm going to is talking about just this, and it's a plugin. It's a WordPress plugin called OIO Publisher. OIO Publisher. That's uh, that's what this call. Right? And what OIO Publisher does is it allows you to sell advertising directly from your blog. Now, how does this work? Well, you set up an advertising page on your blog. If you go to my blog, you'll see an advertising page. And in this advertising page, it will list and explain all my ad options, all the sizes I have, and how much they cost per month. An advertiser will check out this page. If they want to order something, they just click the order link. It takes them to uh, PayPal where they can pay for it, and then it takes them to a place where they can upload their, uh, upload their ad. And once they do that, I get an email, say new advertiser has subscribed. I then look at the ad. If I like it, I approve, the ad goes up live. If I don't like it, I reject it. It refunds them the money and that's it. It will automatically renew them every single month. So it will take as well, it will also set PayPal subscription. So it will automatically every month it will automatically renew them until they cancel. And if uh, and if they don't take the subscription option, it will automatically send them reminders saying, hey yo, I had something due, please renew or else it will, it will stop. Right? So that's how I do it. I don't go chasing advertisers. I just let them come to me. That's how I do it. I don't, I, so I still producing content and someone comes to my page, likes my page, they start advertising my page, they see the advertising page and they can buy the advertising. If they don't, well, they don't. What OIO does when, when they don't, like when you're first starting out, all you got is Google ads, you don't want to have a bunch of advertise here on your blog, advertise here, advertise here, advertise here. You don't want that because you're making no money, right? So what you could do 
is you create a default ad. And that OIO allows you to set up a default ad that you can run while you're waiting for your first customer. So what is this default ad? Well, it's Google. So you just have the default ad as Google. So Google will keep running on your blog until an advertiser buys a spot and then it replaces Google. So that's, that's how I started. Uh, basically, that's what I did. I just, uh, I didn't want to go chasing, go chasing advertiser. So I just set up the uh, OIO plugin, created the advertising page. I was running Google ads until someone came along and said, yeah, I'm going to buy it. And then they bought my spot and they replaced Google ads. So how do you decide how much to charge for an ad? Well, the formula I use is this. I, I look at what I was getting from Google and I realized that A, the advertiser is paying Google twice as much as what he's paying you at least. Because Google takes half the money uh, from their from their partner. So, you know, when Google sells an ad for a dollar, they give you 50 cents and they keep 50 cents. So, you know, the advertiser is paying a dollar. So at the very least, if someone's coming directly to you, you should charge a dollar. Oh, well. So you look at how much Google is paying you, double that, and that should be your minimum you should charge. Me, I went up four times higher, right? So if I was, if I was making a hundred bucks a month from Google, I would charge $400 for that advertising spot, right? So if, an ad, if one of your ad spot is making a hundred bucks a month for direct advertiser, I would charge 400. And that's how all the, the pricing on my blog, I thought it was set that way. That we asking, some people ask how they came up to those price of 500 bucks a month for this spot and thousand bucks a month for that spot. It's because it was making no, it wasn't making. It was making four times less on Google Ads than that, and I just increased it by four times. So that's uh, that's how I do it. If you if you want to increase the income, you want to cut out the middleman. Use this plugin, and just let the advertiser come to you. I mean, if you want, you can try to do a little bit of selling yourself. But yeah, but Jimmy, I didn't bother to do that. I just like and. Because advertising accounts for only 10% of my blog's income, I'm pretty, you know, like, eh, about it. Right? If they buy, they buy. They don't, well, you know, they, they don't. Right? And so, this, so that's why I don't, I don't negotiate on my advertising. I don't uh, give discounts. I don't give anything. If they, the price is the price. If they like it, great. If they don't, they don't. Because advertising only 10% of my income. Uh, and that's my number one tip right there as well there, right? Do not depend on advertising as your main revenue source. Advertising only 10% of my income, right? So look at other revenue source and maximize the income from your blog. Or you can just continue running Google ads and making peanuts, like I said, you know? If all I have is Google ads on my blog, it's only a thousand bucks a month versus over a hundred grand, right? So it's worth it to uh, maximize the income from your blog by checking out every possible revenue channel. And in the future, I'll talk about more revenue channel. But for now, take a look at OIO Publisher at oiopublishers.com, or I think that's a domain name. Not sure. I'll, I'll post it up. It'll, it'll look, it'll be in this video. Okay, so look below this video or in this video for the uh, for the URL. Go get the plugin. I feel like twenty-seven dollars. It's pretty cheap. Well worth it. You'll get your money back on the first sale. So there you go. This is John Chow from Thank you for listening. Welcome your feedback. I'll see you guys on the next episode.